Hello, I'm Ikana students. This is your English language fellow, Shay, and I have a tutorial video for you for how to register on My English Lab. So the first thing that you'll need to do is go to this website, www.pearsonelt.com backslash myenglishlab.html. Another option for you is by going to www.myenglishlab.com backslash topnotch 3e backslash. So you can register um, on either of these pages. It's all My English Lab. I prefer the setup of this page myself, My English Lab, because it's familiar to the teachers who have already gone through the process. Mm -hmm. So you're going to notice that there are four buttons here. Um, student registration, educator registration, student login, educator login. So once you are registered, you're going to go to this bot right here, student login. But for today, it's your first time, so we're going to click on student registration. And you'll notice that it says you need three things in order to register for My English Lab. The first is a valid email address. Okay, please note you cannot use a Facebook address, all right? So if you don't have an email address, ask your parent or your sibling or create your own email address on Gmail. It will take you two minutes, it's very easy, okay? Um, the second thing that you'll need is an access code. If you do not have a book yet, you will not have an access code, all right? Your access code will look something like this, all right? All capital letters, many dashes, but six sections, okay? You will find this on the inside cover of your book, all right? So if you have a new book, then you have the access code. If your book has the access code exposed or it's showing already, that means that it might be used and that's not good. You really need this access code to be able to go on to My English Lab, okay? And then the last thing that you need, although it says it's optional, it's not today, okay, we're going to do the whole process, is your course ID. All right, your teacher will give you this. So we are going to register, I have a student book and I'm registering this student for the first time. So we are going to go through the whole process right now, okay? So here we are, your access code. Now, where do you find your access code? You find your access code in your textbook, all right? So my access code is ESS. TMT dash F O N D A dash U E U P E N dash A P I A N dash F A L U N dash R I T E S. Okay, and let me just check that E S S T M T dash F O N D A dash E U P E N dash A P I A N dash F A L U N dash R I T E S. Now, you want to check that this is in the front of your book. This is where you're getting your access code. So let's see. All access codes will be different, but this one comes from top notch level two. Okay, so I'm using a level two book right now. Yes, that's what we want. So verify that that's what you're looking to gain access to and hit next. Okay, so now, oh, so it's going to give me options, but I do not want to do that, okay. I'm going to create an account, all right. Once you have created an account, you will come back here and sign in here, but we haven't yet, so we are going to create one for this student, all right. This account will give you access to the Pearson products that you specified. Here's the agreement, la, 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 la. Usually you should read the students, okay, but for today we don't have to, I've read it a million times, okay? So I agree to this agreement. Next. Okay, here we are. So email address. Now I am, okay, I am using a student's information for today. So I'm going to use this student's um, parent's email address to gain access, all right? So you put your email address there, and then you're going to put your first name and your last name. See, this is my own password saver, so ignore that box that keeps popping up. Like the little email. 
Okay, institution, we are all here at Amikana, see? Okay, then you have to create a username. So for the username, I'm just going to keep it very simple and make it the student's first initial of the first name and the last name. Make sure I spelled all of that correctly. Am I okay? Bartholomew, okay. Um, I'm going to create a password. It will be, um, I'm sorry, here, let's see. Okay, don't click this box. It'll just give you extra annoying stuff to read. Oh, oops. <laughs> All right, so this happens. I uh, wasn't paying enough attention when I created this password, so make sure you pay enough attention to what you're saying and you're not doing what I'm doing and talking and creating accounts at the same time, okay? Make sure that you are focused. Oh, again. Let's try this again. Oh no! Oh boy, she is. That's Do they match now? Hmm, this is already being used. Okay, that's okay. So we're going to continue creating this account. Okay. It's already in use. What do you mean? So let's just add a one, shall we? There we go. So you check your information. Hopefully it doesn't take you as long as it just took me. Um, check your information and you're going to hit finish. All right, here's the access code that you put in already. Shows that you bought the book new. Okay, here we are, we're in. Beautiful, okay? So then you can say, go to your product. All right, and you are noticing now that you need to pick your language. You have to pick your place of residence, all right? You have to pick your time zone, and you have to pick your native language. And where are we? Spanish. Here we are. Okay, let me get started. Okay, um, so now it's saying here, Welcome to my English lab. Join a course by using the information supplied by my teacher, okay? So we're going to dismiss that, but notice here on the side, it says top notch two. That means that you have access now to all of the course content that's online. Okay, so that's fantastic. You can do your homework, you can submit assessments. All of this is here for you. However, we need to associate this information with the course that your teacher has created, okay? So if we go to settings, we are going to my courses. You're going to join a course, all right? And now the course ID is the series of letters and numbers that your teacher has provided to you. So for this particular course that's taking place right now, level two, it's going to be 54 YM-JLT-KW5J-2YQ4, okay, oops, four. And so we want to make sure that that matches, so please review it again. So 54YM-JLT-KWF, oh, 5J-QYQ4, okay. So now that is provided to you from your teacher, all right? So make sure that that's correct and hit OK. Joining a course is in progress. Please check later. Okie dokie. So, let's see. You have your course right there, all right? You know, I think that once your teacher sees you, she will approve you being in the course and you can start to see 
what's actually happening in the course. All right, you see that it's right here, third adolescence. Okay, um, so that is it. All you needed to do was register for your English lab, starting with your email address, an access code from the inside of your book, and then the course code from your teacher. As long as you have those three things, you can register to My English Lab, okay? And once you put all of the information in, something should say, joining course in progress, and then check later. And when you check later, this should be associated with the course. Maybe we'll have your teacher's name, but everything will be there for you, and you'll be able to participate on the online platform. So good luck to you, student, and uh, I'm here if you have any questions. Thanks for listening.